Run it, big boy. Is that filming? I thought you didn't hit record yet. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Man. Honestly, I don't. I don't remember if I hit record. I don't know if you hit record. That's no. why I don't know if you ever did. It doesn't. It doesn't make a sound. So we just it's like a little mouse in the night. Are we just? Are we just ripping a whole episode, hoping, for hoping the that it's recording? Let me check. Well, let's see. <laughs> yeah, let, let me check. <laughs> Big well, fucking news. Live on television. Big news. All right. Why are you yelling? <laughs> 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 it's Sunday. Why you yelling? It's Friday. We're bike, baby. It is Friday. We haven't done a Fade the Public episode, a real Fade the Public episode Since, like, together. Vietnam. Literally, I feel like it was almost... Uh, when the Cold War was three, happening? Three apartments ago at this point. I feel like basically back in my mom's house is the last time we had a, a real wow. real episode together. Well, it's funny. I don't think we ever did one in your mom's house. So. <laughs> no, we yeah, didn't. No. I mean, when I lived there. But that's how long ago it feels. All on your yeah. bed in your bedroom, just sitting there doing I imagined when we were going to start that it was actually going to be in my basement. I didn't think um, I, I. You didn't realize the great setup we had the dungeon, the lighting down well, there. I, yeah, I remember when you said that anyone like want to do a podcast, anyone got any space? And I just sent a picture in my basement and said, "Yeah, I got space." And we are. I got space. And I now, still laugh at our first two episodes where the, where we had the camera. <laughs> just, and we just put a camera. on the Camera's the literally just like up, yeah. like underneath my chin. I feel like yeah. it's ridiculous. Honestly, we haven't gotten uh, looking like a bunch of douches. The production has nothing's has, changed. Hasn't gotten that much higher than now. We have some some nice mics. How many fucking lights you got up here? A lot. We Not do have enough. some good lighting, I think, right now. I this think is this is going to turn out really well. Or it might be really dark. I can't tell. It looks like we have good lighting. I don't know. You guys comment below. Tell us how the lighting looks. Well, so that's the like good thing about this place is the lighting is it's so good. I wish you guys could come during the day because the natural light that comes in from there is incredible. And through those windows as well. Mm. That's why we have Y yelling. But I think I, I figured out a couple settings. I dialed it in. You know, I'm a good video guy. Oh, uh, you took the advice I gave you about the camera setting? <laughs> yeah, dude. You do have some more white lights over here, so if we do move over there, it will be darker. I didn't realize that those, those were lights so are not um, white; those are yellow lights. So yeah, that could we'll, be we'll do issue. some freaky shit if we you move. You think over this lighting is giving me a tan right now? You it might. Just, we could just continue doing it on the couch. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm sitting on a crack. It's not the most comfortable. Maybe if we. You switch, could take the big chair. Yeah, say not if now. Not no, right no, now. Not right now. I can't get up. Like next time, we'll figure out. So this could be the permanent location. For uh, the Fade the Public set, but... Do you think we... I feel like we... <sighs> bear with us for now if it's not. I would like to do it at a table. I feel like it's... it's, a, it's I feel a like a table's good just because we have laptops. Yeah. If we didn't need laptops... It's like I part of what care. we are, I feel like. like. I'd be fine with just a lazy boy. Like, I get a lazy boy, like a recliner. And apparently, apparently, the radiation is not good for your crotch. So well, here's what we'll do, and this will thing will get really hot really quickly, probably. Oh yeah, it's already hot on me. I feel like my my thigh hair is. That's the most ass off. I've gotten in a while. So <laughs> we're gonna probably get rid of that beanbag, so we could get a lazy boy over there, Ooh. and then set it up a uh, nice. Ooh. Just you two on the couch, me and the lazy boy. Yeah, that could work. I could I can get used to that. Like king shit for you. I tell you what, falling asleep halfway. We through need to episodes. take advantage <laughs> of the brick wall. The brick wall is beautiful. We need brick to start throwing nice. like art and different things behind it. I'll paint some pictures. Yeah. All right. Should we play running bases off it too? Dude, red ass. We could. Off the wall. I'm sorry. Not yeah, off bases. the wall. Yeah. All right. So um, today, are we actually, we will talk some fantasy football today, I guess, right? We're we have, we, just talk. We, we, we're going to come back in. We're going to talk some Dynasty rookie draft. What do you think? Yeah, we just wrapped up our biggest league, the Go Fame League, in which I'm the defending champion, and I beat Scott in the championship. It was a great run that he had. He'll probably win the next three or four years, so congrats already, yeah, congrats, Scott. Scott. Yeah. Big congrats, Scott. Uh, but I'm the champion right now, and we just had our rookie draft of the league that I'm the champion of, and we want to recap it. We want to go through the first round, which was all Scott somehow. and uh, <laughs> We want to go through the Scott round, and then we'll get to the other rounds <laughs> yeah. and tell you how the rest of the league there, did. There, there were three people that had picks in the first round. Three. Scott was two of them. Yeah, Scott was two of them. Snacks had one of them. Well, no, Yannick did too. I'm saying me, Scott, and Yannick. Oh yeah, <laughs> did you mean Scott. That is a fucking too? trio. I want nothing to do with. That's family right there. Snacks, Yannick, and Scott. But I did, I did trade out of my uh, one twelve, so we can get into that too. Yeah. yeah we, so basically, hopefully, uh, you know, a lot of you guys will be starting some of your rookie drafts. So you already did your rookie drafts. So it's just something that you can people are fucking to. are fiending for rookie drafts. Like yeah. they want to do it as soon. The last pick, Mister Irrelevant, gets picked, and it's like let's do our. Rookie I hate draft. it. I would love. Same. To wait a month and see what happens. 
I like I like like two to three weeks is fine for me, but I hate doing it like immediately afterwards. I know everyone likes to do it, so we just kind of jump like into it. Like you guys realize, like like injuries are going to happen. There's going to be things like depth chart. You want to see where like the guys are going to emerge. Your yeah. ideal spot, you would rather you would want to wait till like the end of the summer for I would, a rookie draft after OTAs. What's right now, it's man. I would like waiting until like June. Yeah, oh, okay. after There's OTAs. There's not going to be injuries by June though. Yeah, but even just like to know like certain undrafted free agents that are like making s- some splashes and JV and Hawkins know, stuff like that. Yeah, well, no, not him. But, you know, like a guys James Robinson type. like that, maybe. Like uh, Brightwell? Guy Brightwell. I, was I, he listen, a UDFA or was he a draft pick? He was a six-round pick. Wow, that's some serious draft capital. Uh, Joe Judge said he liked his tape and they drafted him. So if Joe Jesus liked it, that kid's a gamer. Okay. Well, Snacks is uh, delusional again with these Giants running backs. Literally never heard the guy's name before you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, was... I went to player profile, I immediately look at it, and it was just assuming it wasn't even going to be in the database. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me be respectful for a second. You have this beautiful, great fantasy football company, and you don't know Gary Brightwell? Gary Brightwell averaged four points. Mel Kuyper said he was a steal of the draft. Four, oh, are we going to bring up Mel Kuyper's best and worst hits? <laughs> yeah, really. Come on. Mel, Mel Kuyper's Kuyper. a beast. He's never had more than 525 rushing yards. First of all, Mel Kuyper never. Fresh legs, though. Mel, Mel, legs. Mel, Mel Kuyper never even said that, so. Gary Brightwell. I mean, let's, let's be real here. The guy's backing up Saquon, so it's not... Well, you know. Saquon's going to get hurt, so we need a backup. Who else you got on that depth chart? Uh, well, we just signed Corey Clement. We just signed Re- Reichwell Armstrong. Reichwell Armstead. 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 I like how... Your fucking running back why group... Are we talking about the Giants' like, third-string running back? I was just right asked now. the question, what's your running back room look well, I like? I thought you guys had like another running back that was like, okay. Well, Wayne Gallman, but he went to San Fran. Right, right. I'm saying for this year. No, okay. So you just have the, the most pathetic running back group. Devontae Booker. That's who they Not say. who I was thinking about. Ex Bronco. Well, that's, that's, that's it. <laughs> okay. We Pretty have good. a very crowded. Uh, Pretty good field. player. Pretty good player. All right. Let's throw the uh, let's throw the draft board up on the on the screen for y'all, and let's run through because. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see the names of who drafted what, but we'll, we'll go through it. Because Flea Flicker stinks and doesn't let you see a fucking draft board. Yeah, they yeah, just the, won't give us the draft board. They just give us the list. So. I tweeted at them, and they're not getting back to me. Usually people get biked to me very quickly, but not not. I even haven't even got a fucking like from anybody on Twitter on it. This is what I need. I need, like, people to yell at Flea. Oh, we got yeah, a response from somebody. And they see uh, it. Somebody <laughs> put a trash <laughs> emoji trash. trash gift. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't really need to know anything, but Scott had the first five picks. So. Yeah, so I, if we're going to start, let's get into start it. Start with the 101. Start with the 101. So Scott had the first five picks. So when you see this board, you go, oh, Travis Etienne at the 101. Just remember. Don't be fooled. It's really the 105. Yeah, yeah. Scott just I, he went, he went in reverse order. order, literally. So for the yeah. settings of this league, it's super flex, non-tight end premium, half PPR. Most of the shit is standard. Uh, it's two running backs, two wide receivers, Three flexes or two flexes, then a super flex. Uh, two flex, two regular flexes, super flex, tight end, no defense, no kicker. So and please, please emphasize the non tight end premium. So there's a, one rule now. about tight ends, and it's that they're non tight end premium. I was told to emphasize that. So Kyle Pitts, great leader. Kyle Pitts sitting there at the at the one nine. Snacks passed on him. One through five. Well, uh, Scott unloaded. He took, took the dick out and said, I'm going to take the two best running backs and I'm going to take the three best quarterbacks. Scott's roster is loaded at the quarterback position. I still have no problem with this because he is a trade god. So is our, is your RB1 Najee Harris? No. You would take ETN? You would take Javante Williams? Javante Williams. That's yeah. my RB1. Are you my fucking RB1. kidding me? Both of you guys like Javante over Dude, Najee Harris. I like the I situation really better. Yeah, it's a better team, better line, better situation going forward. You think I want to agree with that? You would take Javante Williams over ETN and Listen, Harris. I, I, well, first I am, of all, ETN, I don't even have him on my board. So. He would be a non-board member. He's not for even you. on my board. He's not even on the board. So. I, de- I definitely have ETN on my board. He's, he's a stud, but I hate the landing spot. And I don't understand why they did it with James Robinson. Najee is unbelievable, as we all know. Maybe this we're going to sound... We're probably going to look back on this and sound stupid. Javante over Najee. I j- situationally, situationally, there's a lot of this class that I was saying before we, we got on camera that I hated all these landing spots. I hated almost every landing spot that these rookies went to. How long? All right. Well, first of all, situationally speaking, Javante doesn't come out of the gate as a workhorse. No. Now she's getting 22 touches a game. Fair. But when do they when do they rebuild that line? Ben's gone after this year. What do they what do they do after this year? I'm talking about the quarterback situation in Denver. I mean, it's going to be Aaron Rodgers after June 1st. <laughs> you guys can laugh all you want. Aaron Rodgers will be a Bronco for this season. I'm also going to say something. He will be too. a Bronco or retired. If that's the case, then yes, I will take Melvin Gordon very high. <laughs> what 
Melvin Gordon is still there, yes, but Lindsey's gone, and I think I think Javante Williams is going to carve out a role for himself this year. Melvin Gordon's still a good ball player, and if we want to talk about quarterback, I would trust... God, I hate doing this. I would trust the Broncos to find a successor at quarterback more than I would Pittsburgh. I agree. I They've just, done it before, so... I just don't think Javante is anywhere near as good just uh, as a role player wise, as no. Najee Harris. Yeah, I just think, but like you're volume and talent, at, like give me that. I understand. That, yeah, Najee's going to average like three point nine yards a carry. The line that so Najee should be things. running behind is in Denver right now with Munchak. Like Munchak groomed those guys to become a great offensive line, like he did with the Steelers for however many years before that. Now that he's in Denver, you can just see like our line has gotten so much better in the, the, the two past two years. And I'm and I'm ready to rock like, and roll. One eight, that was my target. I wanted Javante Williams at one eight. All right, so Scott, that was your first mistake. You went with two running backs off the board, and they were both the wrong running back. You went with three quarterbacks. I mean, you guys seem to have had a problem those with are, that. Those, those, well, I would have taken Trey Lance and Trevor Lawrence, and I would have taken Jamar, Jamar Chase, Chase instead yeah. of Justin Fields. I would have taken Jamar Chase instead of Travis Etienne, probably. Well, that too. That I would, had that I would Williams. With I'm fine with the three quarterbacks, only because I know he's going to be able to move them without The three quarterbacks are fine to me, too, especially in the Superflex. Here's, he's going like to trade them, like you said. Like you're gonna but trade Etienne them. over Jamar Chase? No way. Well, there's yeah, that, but like, like that what's the point in trading one when you can just, like, who are you trading it for? A wide receiver? Like, just take Jamar Chase. Like... Who are you trading for? Well, no, he'll flip him for another first. He'll flip him for a first and, and a quarterback. He'll have seven or first round picks next year. Yeah. He already has like six of fucking seven first. It's crazy. Picks it's crazy. Yeah. Well, the pro- people need to stop trading with him then. Yeah. This is a cry. This this whole episode is just a cry for help to stop trading with. To stop trading with Scott. We've oh, tried man. to do that in the group chat. It doesn't work. Every time I look, it's a new trade coming through that Scott gets a fucking first round pick. So he, he has the first five off the board. Yannick comes in, steals Jamar Chase to 106. Then uh, then Scott gets his other running back, Javante Williams, at 17. So, Snacks, it sounds like you were upset about that because you wanted Javante. I was. There. I was going to take him. I, I I really like Swift and Barkley as my, uh, my, my two running backs. I like that a lot. One of the very few good things about my roster. So, I kind of wanted to add to his strength. Um, but I needed a quarterback. I have Daniel Jones and Derek Carr as literally the only two quarterbacks on my roster. And I, me and Max, are, me and I, we're going to disagree on this. I get it. Up. I would rather the upside of Zach Wilson and the mobility as opposed to Mac Jones, the statue in New England, who, no offense, they've drafted quarterbacks. Yeah, I get it. But I didn't love Mac Jones to begin with. I, I also don't love Zach Wilson, but I think Zach Wilson has a much higher ceiling than Mac Jones does. Well, see, we're not talking about Zach Wilson and Mac Jones. We're talking about Zach Wilson and Kyle Pitts. Okay, that's but, where it but, was that, right but there. that's the other thing. There's a hundred percent chance if I take Kyle. Oh, Pitts, that wasn't even the argument. He just started making the argument. Yeah, well, no, because what happens no, because is because I knew Scott was going to take Zach Wilson if if I took Kyle Pitts. He was going to take the next. Yeah, and then you get oh, Mac you Jones, the 10, and then well. I get Mac Jones. But I don't. I don't care about Here's Kyle what it comes Pitts. Down it's to. not a tight end premium. Here's what it comes down to. I did a poll on Twitter. Remember, I, this is what it was. It was. Would you did rather? You, have, oh, hold on, hold on. Before you did the poll, did you did you emphasize it's not tight end premium? I believe so. You emphasized it in the tweet, in the original tweet. Uh, someone said, is it tight end premium? And I said, no. Okay, someone, so, so someone had to ask you. Okay. That's either way, either way, it came down to this. Would you rather have Kyle Pitts and Mac Jones or Zach Wilson and Jalen Waddle? I would rather have Zach Wilson and Jalen Waddle. I would rather have Kyle Pitts in the I bag. I had two needs. And a paper bag. I would I rather have Kyle two, Pitts in the paper bag. First of all, I like those two others. I like Dallas Goddard a lot moving forward as a tight end. So I was okay there. It's not tight. If it's tight end premium, I run to the board and I take Kyle Pitts. If he's I like the Zach Wilson pick at one hundred eight. I had to do it. Superflex, I think one hundred eight. Zach Wilson fall makes there. sense. Is it I, I like there? what the Jets are doing there, man. I like that they took offensive line right after that. They took a wide Zach receiver. Zach Wilson's a skinny little bitch bust. He, I mean, he's a skinny little bitch for sure. I don't know if... He very uh, well could be. And Mac Jones is a flubby little bitch too, so... Yeah, I just hate that situation in New England as well. Like, I want no part of that as the quarterback. Just, I mean, they're, re, they're regrouping the weapons, but yeah, Zach Wilson is the play there at 108, in my opinion. Outside of a fucking tight end premium league, there's no way I'm taking Kyle Pitts Correct. there. And if it was, I would I would have run to the... I, it would have taken me two seconds. Yeah, I'm just not. Yeah, I'm not a fan of investing into tight ends as a fucking NFL team or a uh, or a dynasty team in the first round of these drafts, especially in a non tight end premium. And I love. And I was telling you guys before, you guys kind of got at me. I love Jalen Waddle. Love him. That's who. So one ten, Jalen Waddle was your wide receiver one. Yes, I. So you've got Javante Williams RB one, Jalen Waddle wide receiver one. Fucking out of control. Well, maybe I'm unorthodox. So yeah, what? I'm, just, I'm gonna keep Jamar Chase at the wide receiver one spot. But my thing about Jamar Chase is I don't I I will never trust Cincinnati. I love the situation that Jalen Waddle went to because Tua can't really throw the ball down the field. You what don't is Jalen? What is huh? Chad Ochocinco, TJ Hushmizer. 
That was a long time ago, Nicky boy. Long time ago. When Marvin Lewis, the guy who got that team to the playoffs all the time. So if Marvin Lewis there. can do that in Cincinnati, anybody can. I disagree. Zach, t- Zach Taylor's on the I mean, so like, we just said the same thing about like, the, like he likes what the Jets are doing. Like they're a different team and everything now. It doesn't matter. Like, so what is Cincinnati, Cincinnati doing? Cincinnati's a new team. Joe receivers? Burrow. I mean, they have, you were just saying Joe Burrow is going to get killed. They had a, a left tackle prospect that is generational. For a, for a quarterback, they're Well, he franchise. doesn't catch passes, okay? I understand that. So Jalen Waddle goes to Miami, and you just like him as a pure talent because they added Will Fuller, they have Devontae Parker, they got Mike Kosicki. Yes, they got the Correct. God Miles Gaskin. Correct. And I was thinking about this in the shower today when I knew we were going to talk about this in our draft picks. You didn't shower today. Oh, I showered today. It smelled horrible. I disagree. That's maybe because I farted before. <laughs> but Will Fuller's good. We like Will Fuller. He had a good year last year before he got hurt, uh, before he got suspended. Deep threat, great. Devontae Parker, we saw two years ago, he could play. But then last year, he didn't show up. He was nothing. It was off my board. Jalen Waddle slant. To me, too, is not a guy that's throwing the ball down the field a lot. So that takes really the Will Fuller aspect out of it. Jalen Waddle is great. He's, he's great over the middle. He's coming over the middle, and he's fast. I'm all in on the speed. You get Jalen Waddle the ball, he's going to make plays. And I think Tua... He's fast as shit. He's fast as shit. He's and so if he could fast. even be remotely close to what Tyreek Hill is... I'm going to take that, especially right. when I needed a receiver and I needed a quarterback. So I was very happy with my first two picks. I like I, I like the situation for Jalen Waddle a lot in Miami. I do think that the weapons thing is overblown. I was just playing devil's advocate, but he's going to play a lot in the slot this year, man. Yeah. And we're two and needs to that, dump that, the ball that's off. That's his fit right there. That's facts. All right. So uh, then Scott gets back on the board, goes Mac Jones at 111. <laughs> so he runs away from the first round with four quarterbacks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like four quarterbacks when you could take three and still have Jamar Chase. I don't know what he's doing. See, I, I agree with that too, and that's why I took Zach Wilson because I knew if I took Kyle Pitts, he's taking Zach Wilson. And then I'm stuck with Mac Jones, and I have two quarterbacks that are not even guaranteed starting jobs next year. So I had to take Wilson, in my opinion. That's and fair. And Sexy Pats gets on the board. He's got the 112 2 1 back to bike. I traded that to him. Rashad Bateman and Devontae. Yeah, that was my pick, huh? That was my pick. I have 112. From me, because you gave me Matt yes, Ryan. Yes, yes, correct. Because you gave me Matt yeah. Ryan. So I traded that for, a future for the second the champion, next year, and yeah, I moved right, back right. four spots. Yeah. Yeah, since I was champion 112. And like when you win it, you just get back half picks and stuff like that. So That's I gave it to you. What you gave it away. Shot Bateman, 112. Devonta Smith, 2 1. I feel like that was pretty uh, by the pretty book. Pretty easy. Pretty yeah. by the book pictures there. Then uh, things get a little a little messy here because it's, it's Cody and he's been sipping a little bit. He's moving slow and <laughs> messing with his brain clearly. And he goes with Michael Carter. Now, listen, I feel like Michael Carter has a uh, wide There's range a lot of, of outcomes. Like good upside. This is an upside pick. He, he could be like an Ahmad Bradshaw. He could be in that like MJD kind of body you know and I feel like he's very shifty and he's got that kind of thing going for him I think his his floor though what, what did he end up being a third the fourth round pick or third round pick fourth yeah see like that's I can't take Scary. A, I can't take a fourth round pick a over two, two. over Elijah Moore who was like the second wide receiver off the or the second like second pick of the second round or whatever uh but Michael Carty I mean you could like the talent he was good at UNC obviously sharing the back wheel Javante Williams a little little high for my taste there yeah, no, I I mean, here's the problem with this draft. Like, if you're looking for a running back and, out, like, if Najee and Javonta and Etienne are already gone, like, you have to... That is the guy to it's go between with. Carter yeah. and Sermon. Like, it's the guy who are you taking? That. Like, there's no other... This is such a shitty running back rookie class. It's horrible. At least uh, on paper. They were all helped. Like, they were all fucking killed by the draft. Their pro days were terrible. Most of the guys came out, like, way less athletic than we imagined them. And then they all, like, missed draft capital or landed in shitty situations and, like... I guess, like, Carter's situation, though, in New York, if you believe the offensive line is going to be improved, like... Well, there's really no one there. It's Ryan. It's like... It's, it's P. Ryan, Tevin nice. Coleman. Like, there's it's literally like, nobody there. You're not, like, sitting there with, like, some big guy in front of him that you're worried he's, gonna, he's never going to get a chance to get any carries. He definitely has a chance to take that over right away. Yeah, he, oh, he, for sure. he could be a top 20 running like, back. if you're going to rank the, the running backs in this class, he's going to be, what, four or five? He's going to be five for most people, probably. Yeah. But so, is, the, is that worth where he took him? I, see, I, I would... If no, you two, two, need a running back, like, what's his team? Like, he probably needed a running back. So he figured, fuck it, I'll just take him here because I don't pick again until... Okay, so then the why do you the, say if he needs round. a running back, but when I need a quarterback, it's different? Because <laughs> you still could have gotten a quarterback. But... but uh, we digress. But, but uh, you still could have gotten I am Jones. taking. I am, I am rather taking a quarterback with upside as opposed to one who I think I know exactly what the floor and ceiling is. I feel like Zach Wilson doesn't have upside. I think it's just mm. hope. It's like, we hope he hits. That's Zach Wilson's upside. No, but he's he, he's got some mobility to him. I'm, in Wilson's, fantasy football, at the yeah. eighth spot, 
With the second overall pick in the, the arm, draft. The arm is silky. Here's arm is my big silky. question about Zach Wilson. The guy is, is, everyone praises him for, for extending plays and, and, and making these great throws and, and making the play continue. He had a great line at BYU. And why he played he nobody, ex- yes. Why is he extending plays? Okay, see, Adam, I am not disagreeing with you He's at all. Athlete. It's about style points. I am not disagreeing with you at all. I you can easily him. see him being a bust. <laughs> he drafted him. <laughs> I can easily see him being a bust. But for fantasy football purposes... He's got athletic ability that I'm going to take a chance on as opposed to his statue in Mac Jones, who they still have no fucking weapons. Nelson Aguilar, who, who else did I have? I, Dude, I'm not, I would Kendrick rather. Born? Come on, I, oh, Kend- oh, you're right. Come I on, you're right. on all my teams. Kendrick's about to be reborn. Right. You're right. Kendrick Bourne. Totally all right, and Snacks, you, you uh, rattled off a couple nice wide receivers here. Elijah yes, Moore I, this Rondell. was probably my favorite part. The more bros. The more bros. Yeah. Uh, Elijah at the 2-3, Rondell at the 2-4. Who are you more worried about? Mm-hmm. Elijah. Really? Yeah. I'm actually a little bit more worried about Rondell Moore. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But <laughs> that, I mean, uh, you stack them on purpose? I did, yeah. It's good. Rondell Moore, like, I don't, I'm not sure why, but he has made me a little bit nervous in this draft process. Like, the more you hear about it, the more, like, it feels like they're going to use him as a gadget weapon. The more, yeah. like, you see what they did with Christian Kirk and what they didn't do with Christian Kirk and what right. they do, what Cliff does with these fucking wide receivers. Well, that's because Larry Fitzgerald's just been there ruining careers. I was just going to say. This Fitz is, is going to come back again this year. He's been so selfish. He needs to just it. fucking retire. I'm so sick they, of Larry They signed fucking A.J. Green. Like, yeah. Christian Kirk. I don't know. Like, but Rondell see, Moore. That's another thing, though. After this year, Green's gone. Fitzgerald's gone. He could easily step in. And I'm going to take a chance on Kyle Murray, a very young, promising quarterback with a very bright offensive mind. So I'm not, I'm not mad at with a supreme talent too. No, I mean, I mean that's I would have made the same pick there at two hundred four. I'm just like, it just this this draft gets so uninspiring after like the beginning. It does. Of the second it's round. terrible. It's so terrible. Terrible. Yeah, this uh, is easily one of the worst rookie drafts. Rookie drafts yeah. I've ever been a part of, especially <laughs> after coming in off my of like three last years. Year. Yeah. Uh, last Dan, w- last well, two. Well, here, here's what it was. Like the first year we were in the league together, three, two years ago, three years ago. It's like we didn't really know most of the rookies past yeah. like the second and a half round or whatever. So it's like, oh, like I heard this guy. I like this. I heard this I guy's name. Our so I first like him. draft, we included the rookies in the startup. We didn't have a rookie draft, right? Correct for this league. Yeah, correct. Right. So yeah. this is only. But our I remember second making content. Draft. I remember making content yes. around it. Well, for sure, I remember it was the David Montgomery. Good, and, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, David and, Montgomery was my RB one. It's looking pretty good still. Eh. It's looking pretty good. It's had like four good games. It's looking pretty good. Whatever. Well, and even even last year, we we, we had picks in the third round. People were trading up to the third round. People like well, guys last, in the third round. Well, last year's class was ridiculous. Stacked. It was incredible. Stacked. This year's class, you get to the two five, and I I've, I'm I'm After sitting there I at took the two five. Moore, I was done. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. whatever. I don't care. I'm sitting there at the two hundred five, and uh, I had I going into the draft like a couple days leading up to it. I had six picks in this draft. I had three in the second. I had three in the third. Uh, or maybe I had five, actually. Two in the second, three in the third. I got rid of two thirds to flip them for next year's pick because I hate this fucking class. Got rid of another third midway through, I think. I took Sermon at the 2-5, but you and me had been talking behind the scenes, Snacks, because you had the 2-6. There was mm-hmm. two guys I wanted. It was Sermon and Marshall, and then for me, I didn't want anybody else in this draft class. So I was like, fuck, I'm sitting here with one pick. Snacks, What is it? what do I need to get this done to get the second pick? Because uh, I had the 2-8. So I was Correct. like, you move back two spots, and let me give you, what I give you, next year's third or this year's Next third? year's third. Next year's third. So I, I think. I think. I think it could have been this year. Either way. Either yeah. Way. So, so I gave up a third round to move up two spots so I can get Sermon and Marshall because I knew George was going to go with Marshall because he had Justin Jefferson. I know he keeps his eyes on those fucking LSU wide receivers. Uh, so Sermon I was, like, happy to get, I guess. I, I, I already have, like, four. I got C-Mac, Eckler, Chubb, and then Mike Davis will probably be my second flex. So I'm, like, I'm not dying to get Sermon into my lineup right now, but I think Sermon could be an absolute fucking stud in that San good Francisco hold, offense. Yeah, yeah I really like hold. him. Uh, he's he's just a really good running back, and then Terrace Marshall, another like hold for me, just because he goes into Carolina where he reunites with Joe Brady when he had that big year in 2019. Um, Robbie Anderson's gonna be a free agent after this year, so Marshall kind of steps in, and I think they'll they'll figure out their quarterback situation. They're good by next pieces year for your team because you're not. I don't need like, it right now. You yeah, need, you're you don't like, need like you, have, you don't need starters right. You now. have your guys that you're you're you know, uh, rostering right now that are competing for you. Uh, these guys aren't going to really help you win this year. Yeah, so those guys were just like in a tier by themselves for me, and then after that, I was like, okay, I got my two guys trading away the rest of my picks. And snacks, you were you were bike up on the clock, and you got your boy Tony. I did, and I I don't understand, I don't understand the vitriol I got for it, but <laughs> I mean, he's a first round wide receiver pick, and I I as a Giants fan, I could tell you Sterling Shepard is being cut after this year. I think this is one of your better picks in the entire rookie draft. So do I. And Tony's going to be the full time slot receiver next year. 
I don't like, even care. Like it's just a, like there's good value there. Like, very good be, value. There's just nobody else left to pick there either. Yeah, literally exactly. Yeah, there's he's literally the best upside pick on the board. Correct. First round. He's pick. first round Correct. draft capital. He's your favorite team. He runs there's routes like, like he's getting chased by a dog. All these things does, play dude, into it. You watch that yak. You see him after. after I mean, he's the, oh, you already yeah. have Daniel Jones on your roster. This so is stack a stack. It. it. Stack you know, it. I like it all all around. Yeah, I was excited, and I told Nick. Me and Nick were talking. He's like, "Who do you want?" And I'm like, "I want Tony." I'm like, do you want him? He goes, no, LOL. And I was like, okay, well, then you can have the pick. <laughs> if I can move back, I'll take the yeah. pick. I don't care. So, so that, that all worked out perfectly. I, I like Tony's upside a lot. First round pick. Would love Amari Rodgers if we knew anything about Aaron Rodgers. But, I mean, yeah. we, we do actually know that he'll be a Bronco. I love, so. I love this pick by Animal. Uh, I mean, he just fell there. To I'm me. on Ra. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Ra. I mean, he also Who fell do, to the fourth round of the draft, but Detroit has absolutely they nobody have? at wide exactly. receiver. Exactly. It's literally exactly. going to be him and Quintez. It's, it's, it's Brashad Perriman, Tyrell Williams. Yeah, but and then Brashad Hawkinson. Perriman's like not really there. I don't count him. I think Brashad Perriman was, might I, be their wide receiver I, one. Yeah, until he like hurts his footy woody. And I, I, like like I, like I think he goes for a thousand. I think he goes on my squad. A thousand seconds on the field. I think he goes for a thousand yards. Let me get that third back to you. I'll take Perriman. Absolutely not. I wouldn't trade him for anything. Well, right Tyrell now. Williams will be done after a week, so he'll be the one who's off the field. Yeah. I actually um, Rashad the God Jared Goff is going to throw six hundred and ninety-five times. Was year. very Ooh. on the fence with this pick about. I was going back and forth between taking. I was going to take Davis Mills. He's the only quarterback in this draft outside of the you know top who you know, could three actually or four be a starter this that year. That could be a starter, and I needed a quarterback on my team. The problem I is they have... signed Tyrod Taylor, and like they're just going to make they'll him. play. Tyrod he'll be Taylor. he'll be the yeah. starter for twelve games. So well. What I did was I did I took him on Russ St. Brown two nine and then two ten I was trying to trade with George forever and he's like no I can't like I really need to oh yeah you fucking, got pissed you got because he took fucking Kellen Mond at the Kel- two ten I was so mad Kellen Mond could be their starter next year he very well he could, could be. be and he has a lot of rushing upside no. dude I like Kellen Mond there was a lot, lot. of hype you know there was Mond a lot is? of hype to him Kellen Mond is um. what's his name Brock Osweiler no 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 Oh, Callahan he I went mean, uh, to uh, Drew Locke. He went to the Packers, and he went to. Uh, he played for UCLA. Matt Flynn, Paxton Lynch. Uh, Matt Flynn. No, not Matt Flynn. He was a quarterback uh, from college from UCLA. Went to the Packers. Kaiser their backup. Kaiser. No, Kaiser not went to Sean Notre Kaiser. Dame. Aaron Rodgers, soon to be backup. What the fuck are you Jordan talking Love. about? No, not Jordan. Eddie Lacy. <laughs> Amon Green. Greg Jennings. I'm old Greg. Chicken went pot to pie. The Packers. What are you talking Salamander about? Salamander pie. Toenail pie. Wait, UCLA doesn't make Water sense. There's no pie. way. Brett Hundley. Uh, wow. Okay. That's what I said. Brett Hundley. That was my next guy. That's who Kellen Mond is. Okay. He's the next Brett Hundley. Everyone's like, this guy, he's going to sit for a year and be great. Okay. So Kyle Trask, next quarterback up after that. And uh, kind of love it. I love it too. I kind of do great too. Great pick. I don't, know if that, I don't know if that early. I would have taken him or Davis Mills. So Kyle I Trask is. And, he got, and, and the same guy. Here's got the thing, both. dude. Brady's going to play for yeah. like three more years. He's at not least, retiring after this at year. At least one. At least one more year. Probably two more years. I would years. say at least two. I would say at least two as well. I would I would give Brady a minimum. They're going to be so fucking good this year. Well, they're yeah. the same. They might be the most efficient the offense team? of all time. It's the well, same thing. They literally just pick up right where they left off. Team. They like year two in the same system for everybody. And just what do we do? All right, let's do this. Now they're going to get creative. It's it's like la- it's it's like uh, and that Arians offense takes time to. It's pick like up. the episode of Entourage Bruce. where the guy's getting like golf lessons yeah, from Phil Mickelson. Is that Arians? Where he's getting the golf lessons from Phil Mickelson. Yeah. And he's like betting with Ari. And he's like, you didn't know. I'm actually a lefty. What advice did he give you? Like me, he's better as a lefty. Thank you, Phil. Are you in trouble now? That's what like, the Bucks are going to do from like mm-hmm. le- last year. They're yeah. like, you guys didn't know we were actually lefty. Like, I got I to I like like tell Phil, you, I in, play in almost that. three years doing this, that's the best analogy you've ever made on this show. Thank you. Actually, I don't know if that's a compliment or a... That's yeah. a phenomenal... Well, yeah, you Well, right. it's a backhanded yeah, a compliment. Backhanded I was going to say, like, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. You've sucked up until right now. <laughs> I have now earned your respect after three years. God Finally. God damn. All right. Finally. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell at the 2-11. Fuck. Ramondre Stevenson at the 3-1. I hate both of those picks, Cody. I'm sorry. Cody just wanted running backs in this draft. Cody came into the draft and was like, I'm taking any and all running backs on the board at any time. I don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, I don't care what pick. I don't care what value. Ramondre I'm- Stevenson, I want him. So Stevenson, <laughs> Davis Mills, Can we sell Cody's team, Pat Fryermouth. <laughs> no one's buying it. You have to pay someone to take that. <laughs> Josh Palmer, Chuba Hubbard. Now, I'm. I love. Chuba. I love Chuba. I so love the Chuba. Chuba pick, I I hate him as a player. I don't think he's good at all. But I had that 305, and I gave it to Yannick, and I like forgot I had Christian McCaffrey. So it would have made a Ooh. lot of sense for me to have kept that and take Chuba Hubbard there. Yeah. That, that was a brain for it. 
I had given the pick up prior to like knowing oh, who was okay, going to be okay. on the board, but thinking about it, like I should have known Chuba would have been there, and like that would have been that would have been, been good for you just in case, yeah. Yeah, so that was probably a little bit of a blunder on my end, but dude, my favorite pick of the draft, honestly, animal was your yep. Diami Brown at three six. Steal at fucking three six. The fact, yeah, he was like, I mean, he's I in the same took situation. Him where I took him on Ra. I was telling you that after you said that because I was debating if I stayed at two eight, if I wasn't able to trade with snacks to the two six. I knew Terrace would go off at two seven. At two eight, I would have been uh, debating between Tony and. Uh, Tony and Deami Brown. I mean, he's in the in situation like Terry was three years ago. Where everyone's like, I don't really know who he is. Yep. Gets good draft capital. It's almost good identical player. situation. Yeah. Except now they have Ryan Fitzpatrick. Who's gonna With a guy who's going to just sling the ball. Yeah, around. and they're, the wide receivers there are a mess. It's between, you know, you have... Terry and who? You, well, well, you have Curtis saying, Samuel. That's that's it. It. Yeah, you have Terry, you have Curtis Samuel, yeah. And then after that, it's just oh, complete Samuel, right. disaster. You got Gandy Golden. You got uh, you Kelvin love. Harmon, <laughs> and you got a uh, couple goats. Diami Brown, who, guess what? I own all of them. I have Gandy Golden, and I have... I have uh, Harmon. So you have I the can't monopoly on the wide receiver three. I have the wide receiver three in Washington, no so matter what. So, so Diami Brown, he, his his chance to succeed is about a negative four. So, so <laughs> Diami, yeah, probably honestly, <laughs> Chuba Diami, Javion Hawkins, I loved as uh, as a player, but like at the three seven for an undrafted free agent, just absolutely no. Dude, Codeine just wanted running backs. Let the man I, live. Yeah, just Dude, really out shit. of control. He literally just took running back. I know. And I Pat didn't Fire realize that until right now. And a tight end. Okay, he so took, low key. only running backs and tight ends. So low key, delicious. this kid, Des Fitzpatrick, is my favorite pick by Cody. No one knows who he is, but he is, uh, he's going to be the wide receiver two you know, in the Tennessee Titans, by the end yeah, of the year. Yeah, everyone loves him because his name is Dez. He's got now. He, um, he, <laughs> totally not. Like <laughs> everyone loves him. I have This is the first time I'm ever hearing someone even say that. The first time I'm hearing yeah, anything about him. That's analysis. Uh, yak God, like number two in the NCAA in terms of yak and like him and him and AJ Brown are going to be a problem on the field. He's one of those guys, like you turn on the film and you're like, ah, he's kind of boring. But then you keep watching him play and you're like, does everything good. And he's like, oh, he's really good with the ball football in his hands. Player, yeah. he's a football player that does I mean, a little bit more. Especially on a team like that, would play action all the time. It's going to exactly. be good. Kind of beautiful. Uh, and with AJ Green commanding all that attention. Snacks, you took Jalen Darden. Brown, sorry. Dwayne Eskridge at the 312. I'm like, sorry, who did I take? S- Darden. I yeah, hold Darden. on. Let's talk about this for a second because yeah. it was this was not a because spike you pick. him. It was, was a, not. Yes, no, it was not. No, you, it was not. I told you I was going to take Darden in the fourth, and you're like, Ugh, and then you just took him here. Snacks, how are you nope. going to take Jalen Darden, who's like the wide receiver for seven in Tampa Bay, over Eskridge, who's a second round pick? I can you, tell you exactly why. Because he's the only guy you knew left, because I told you him. The only guy you knew left, because I told you him. Jalen Darden, like, scored, take him. he scored three touchdowns against Rice, and the over hit. Oh, this was a personal one. It was, was a personal. Yeah, it was and personally I told you against this. me. You're gonna cut him like in in a week. I, I'll give him the animal for a fourth. I didn't give a shit. I literally took him out of respect, and I told you that. Mike animal. Evans, Chris Godwin, Yo, Antonio Brown, Tyler he will, Johnson. He will never play. Rob Gronkowski, which is a shame. OJ Howard, Leonard Fournette, Cameron Brait. Cameron Brait. They have another wide. Uh, Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller. Uh. uh there's another Tyler su- Johnson. I already said that. There's another super athletic wide receiver. He's going to steal Tyler Johnson's role. Not a chance. <laughs> Jalen Dorr is like 110 pounds. Tyler he's Johnson's 80 pounds. When I yeah. took him to, I, all muscle. When I took him to, I was he's done. just he's, he, he's Scotty Miller. I don't know why they they probably drafted him like just to let him play to beat up Scotty Miller and take to be his like spot. the blocker on kick return. Hey Scotty, I'm the fucking tall five just, nine. Just, just, I'm the tallest five nine guy in this locker room. When I I, I was done. So George gets on the board. Worked he takes out. Schwartz, who's you know third round pick. At this point, you're just like, okay, whoever has the most capital, let me like see what I could do on my team. It's almost is, like who's the first fucking guy on, on Flea Slickers. Board. Yeah, it was ADP at Cody took two two at well, so another uh, in fourth round, second round pick, just uh, hundred oh. literally two two ways one hundred fifty five pounds. Brightwell? Who? What? Who? The goat. Who? Gary Brightwell. Who? Stop saying who. <laughs> You know exactly who he is. Yo, Cody's last pick is actually my favorite. Oh, we'll, we'll wait. Kylan Hill? Yeah. So he takes... What are we waiting for? We're going to go through all these fucking picks. <laughs> Jamar, Jefferson. Jamar Jefferson. Jamar Jefferson stinks. Kylan Hill stinks. Elijah Mitchell. Yo, Jamar I Jamar Jefferson like was actually... I wanted Jamar Jefferson over Elijah Mitchell. I was pissed Cody took Jamar. I wanted uh, to take Jefferson there. You know what? That's who I probably should have taken. Who? Anyone else but Jalen Darden? Yeah. Well, no, Jamar Jefferson. Those are, you know, what's crazy yes. about this class? That's DeAndre Swift. So. All of these guys, Jamar Jefferson, Elijah Mitchell, Kylan Hill. Like, if they were a little bit better at their pro day, if they got a little bit more draft capital, they would be easily like second. They they were projected to be like second round rookie They're picks also a like couple months on ago. really right. shitty landing spots. Like, yeah. but see, this and they is all went I'm, like the sixth round. Like Detroit, round. you got DeAndre Swift. Uh, 
San Fran, you got like they four other They also signed Jamal backs. Williams this year, too. Yeah. And then uh, Green Bay, you got no Aaron Rodgers. You got Aaron Jones and you yeah. got A.J. Dillon. Dillon. Yeah, there's no so, room like, for any This is what I was shit. saying before. Like, the landing spots in this draft were as putrid as ever. It was, and like, Khalil disgusting. Herbert, I didn't even, I never even heard of I that I actually man. like Khalil Herbert, but like. Yeah, but David Montgomery's there. He's the RB1 from. If Yannick uh, took him, he David knows. Montgomery goes down. Khalil Herbert's are uh, top three fantasy running backs. Is Tariq Cohen yeah, still like, there? See, the thing is, David yeah. Montgomery's not having a top eight fantasy running back, so. That's the whole thing about it. That's Khalil Herbert's that. Much Herbert's better, better than David Montgomery, correct? Amazing. I actually like Tommy Tremble as a sneaky pick. So you know the, the thing I've the thing I've come around to is basically like every rookie tight end is basically the they same. They all thing. suck. They're all they're all like a uh, mid. They first, all suck. They're all like mid first round quarterbacks where no one knows anything, and they all just say like, "Oh, I like this guy," and we yeah. think he's going to hit. Like that's every mid round tight end. They all suck. T- tight they're ends are sex. Honestly, we, the only reason the I next t- they're the, not even the, tight end premium. League. You want the night? You want the next like Darren Wall? The next. The only reason I took Tommy Tremble there. was because uh, FB God. Uh, when we were in Miami, after the draft, we were doing a best ball mania. Uh, underdogfantasy.com, by the way. You wasted sure a you, best uh, ball mania pick on Tommy Tremble. We, we wasted a pick on Tommy in Tremble. the least surprise. It was our last day. pick. He was like, yo, we got to get Tommy Tremble. He's super <laughs> athletic. I was like, all right. And then now I, Tommy Tremble's my guy. So That's your guy? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he's like a 6'3 tight end. New flea so flicker trade athletic. from Cali Dog 310. There we go. I mean, this is perfect timing. Yeah, see it. That's pretty much it for the draft, too. It's, and let me guess, it's Hunter Henry related. I actually might take this. Oh yeah, I get Devontae Booker and Mike Glennon. He gets a fourth round pick next year. What you, is the point of sending that offer? Yeah, like, but, that's just no, like because a, I have Daniel Jones, Glennon is his backup, and I have Saquon. Yeah, but that's just a straight up like I want to make a trade right now. Trade. That's literally all that is. I think I'm actually gonna just do Go it. Go ahead. Okay. I don't care. No one gives a fuck about a fourth round pick. I really, I was hoping it was something good, <laughs> but I should have known when it. When came is there ever going to be a good trade offer from Yannick? Nobody wants to make real trades. I was sending out like real offers. And we made. Just... There's plenty of trades that go around. No, no, draft. it was. Um, you just can't. Ex- you can't close the fucking trade. No, no. I would, I literally offered like the same exact offer you offered. No. That like when you and Snacks made that trade, I offered like that same exact trade. To, like, you don't know trade. how to smooth talk. Well, I just say fucking trade with me, and they go no. <laughs> exactly. I go, and I start cursing them off. You got to tell him that you're going to give him more air. What's your fucking problem? I just want to trade. Uh, who are you taking? I'm not taking him. <laughs> I'll be like, Snacks, I'll retweet the next three tweets that you put out. George, I'll, I'll get you a spot on my YouTube. That's how it works. You give me a little something well, I, th- trade I thought our trade, our trade our was, was fine. fine yeah. Two backs. It was a good trade. Yeah. You knew we both were getting the guy that we wanted. We knew it, and you just got an extra third. It was, yeah. what, it, it, was what it be what it is. All right. Uh, that's, that's the rookie draft. Wait, how did Yannick know we were recording right now? God, did I win the best review? I don't know. We oh. live? I get maybe. Are we <laughs> live? Do we go live? Oh, that would up? suck if we're live. I mean, not Why? really. We didn't, we didn't say do anything, anything bad. <laughs> Snacks just assumes like he said some. It's just always shit. something bad. All right, so who are your favorite? Uh, let's go favorite picks round by round. Okay. My favorite pick around. Um, I think we can all equally agree. Favorite pick around one was uh, Zach Wilson, right? One eight. Agreed. Uh, so Javonta Williams at one seven, the easiest steal. I mean, it's a steal. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that was my least favorite pick. Really, I think it's the best yeah. pick. I, honestly. One nine, Kyle Pitts is probably the steal because he should have went I top just, five. So. I just don't. The whole first round is just chalk. Like everything in the, in the yeah, first round is it's just chalk. The, it's the same thing. So let's go. To, let's go a second. I like Jamar Chase at six. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, pick second round. It's uh, there is Tony. I think we're all going to be biased here. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. take. I like Terrace Marshall at two six. I do kind of like Terrace Marshall at two six, but if we're going to go straight up value. Uh, give me, yes, give me Tony at two seven. Uh, give me Tony at two seven. He's got the draft capital. He's I'll gonna take, play right I'll away. Take Marshall over Tony. I almost went Kyle Trask. I almost I said Kyle Trask. I was like Shh, Tony, dude. He's gonna be sitting on taxi squad for two to that's three. That's why years. I didn't do it. Yeah. If 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 Brady were to retire after this year, though, that, is that situation yeah. would be unbelievable. Yeah. They, they had a great but offensive line now. Know, but who the fuck knows what they do there? They may go out and yeah, but just to like go into like I, being no, a, a quarterback coming onto that offensive team, line, weapons, like, coat, on, like on everything. The sur- there. On the surface, absolutely, especially yes. like the way Kyle Trask plays, where he he, he can sit in the pocket third, and actually throw accurately. Third round animal, you take that. Oh, with Diami, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, myself. third round's easy, Diami, uh, Diami Brown. Uh, I like the Des Fitzpatrick and Dwayne Eskridge, three ten, three twelve. Absolutely hate Jalen Darden. What about? <laughs> yeah. Fourth round, uh, anything but the four six and four eight. It's fair. <laughs> it's very fair. It's fair assessment. Can we just uh, go, can we, let's give some let's give Cody some love? How about uh Trey McKitty? 
I'm going to go with Kylan Hill. It's the last pick of the draft. How many roster spots does this motherfucker have on his team? <laughs> last, <laughs> no. Is he going to give you have to cut all these Last pick of the guys? draft. The guy got a potential... Uh, actually, I hate it because the Packers are going to be what, one of the what worst. What the fuck what? are you talking Kylan about? Kylan Hill stinks. The Packers are going to be so bad. Kylan Hill is literally just like any running back that can stay on the field and not die. Yeah. That's his best attribute. Honestly, Elijah Mitchell is a great pick. I like Elijah Mitchell too. All right, can we wrap this shit up? No. No, no, not the episode. The, the no, we're, rap, we're oh. wrapping it. We're, wait, everything wait, wait, wait. Is I want to say one thing. What's the timer on it? Look at the... Roadcaster. I feel like we gotta be <sighs> really skirt. We're at forty. We're at forty. That's yeah, nice. Good. It's a nice little ski yeah. skirt. So uh, the NFL schedule got released. That it did. I haven't fucking looked at it once. I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at it. Well, now. all I need to tell Give you, my instant reaction. All oh. I need to tell you is we yep. have two very huge vlogs in the first three weeks of the season. Yeah, let's actually talk about that. That is awesome. Wait, someone's wedding. Jessica's. Is that first week? Are you going to it? Not no, any, not anymore. <laughs> no, you're not going. Listen, it's the Broncos Fuck. Giants. You're not going. It's home op- the Giants. I'll, ho- I'll the Giants write her home letter. opener is the Broncos. That's if you write one. her a letter, I'll go to the game. Are you going to the wedding? I ain't invited. You want mine? No, dude, don't go. Motherfucker, you kidding me? Dude, I haven't missed the Giants home opener since the pandemic. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have been. That's actually good. It's like one year snack. I wouldn't have been able to go. That was the joke, dumbass. <laughs> I need water. Never miss it. Never miss one of my life. <laughs> Huge. All right, so we got Broncos at but NYG. Way, Broncos got at Falcons NYG. at NYG week three. Week three. And it, the best part is, it's warm weather. Yeah, I mean, We're this is do so much more. In probably warm weather. something that we should talk about off air because we'd have to actually figure it out. But it's an idea. I would like to see if we could possibly execute on. Obviously, we have those two games. We're gonna go to the Bing after too. A road trip. Like, maybe if this year, if we could incorporate, like, two or three, like, cool road games. Not, obviously, like, towards, like, the middle of the end of the season, because we have those two right away. I think it would be some awesome vlog content, just in general fun. We can meet up with some people, like, depending on what stadium we go to. There's always Wait, those, like, crazy about tailgaters. Locations? I agree completely. Well, I feel like going to Atlanta would be pretty cool. That'd be sick, yeah. Obviously, because they have a great, yeah. a great stadium. Um, Chick-fil-A's closed there, though. Yeah, I'm not going to Atlanta day for before. Chick-fil-A anyway, so. Why don't we, I think we should agree on... Uh, we have three teams we root for each. By uh, week seven, whoever has the best record, that's when we decide. Well, no, because there's going to be like planning involved before then. But yeah, yeah. I just it. think it's something that we should, you know, maybe it's, it's, consider. It's just, it's very, yeah. Doing yeah. A if any of you guys have trips. extra tickets for us, if you guys want us to just come stay at your uh, house. Oh with, yeah, please with your family. That would be yeah. I would like to do Sunday dinner. I will like Friday afternoon Sunday dinner. I literally will hang out Saturday and then go to the game Sunday. Go to Friday afternoon. Stay at someone's house for the entire weekend. All Saturday. Yeah, if your grandma's there, even better. If you want snacks to cook, if you want, uh, well, I gotta bring the ravioli. Like I, dude, you think they're. Yeah. What do, what I can't imagine with the raviolis and like fucking dude, we can, Texas. Or what yeah. if there's like a how there bad they are? Um, they give me like dirt. A huge game with fantasy implications that we maybe will go to that. Like maybe like a, the starting quarterback for our teams are playing and it's like a big matchup. That'd be we'll sick. See. We oh, we know. should see what our fantasy matchups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they intertwine. Yeah, we don't know. Fuck yeah, freak this yeah. Could be that crazy. Would be that would be fun. We do we do a nice trip. Yeah, but I will say, the schedule gods really hooked us up. This also, week. I will say. Uh, because we pulled off the NFL draft stream so well, like we're we're good to like stream a lot too, you know. Like the yeah, I would like perfect. to stream just more regularly, even for Thursday night football and shit like that. Yeah. Because it's usually the worst games where people don't care enough about the game that it's they're gonna like miss it, so they'll join. Bets and fantasy. They'll join us for the fun. Yeah. So yeah, Thursday night football is for bets and fantasy. Yeah. So get ready for some Thursday night football streams, maybe some uh, Sunday streams, and uh, without snacks. And uh, what do you mean without me? You're not coming. What do you mean, what do we mean? What do you mean? You're not coming. The, the fuck Giants do you mean, are on. what do we mean? If the Giants are on, are you going to come? No. No. If the Giants are not on, are you going to come? Yeah. No. <laughs> do the Monday night games. We've got two Monday night games. Who? Two winnable games, too. You guys have two Monday night games? Yeah. Why the fuck Chiefs and Bucks. Two I winnable games. I haven't looked at what games we got. Whatever. All right. That's uh first episode, Bike in a Minute. So thank you all for joining us, as always. Good job, boys. Thanks for coming. Um, what do you mean? We both fucking... You're the sip. fucking dumbass that went in that way. We clipe cheeks. Just didn't have good clap. So, uh... Good clap, that's what she said. Make sure, uh, uh... We always forget to plug the Fade the Public channel in the beginning, which we need to do that every time. Yeah, I feel like, um... Once we have, like, our set... Set, we'll be... Okay. I'll have, like, a sheet ready to go. Once we have our set set, we'll be set. 
All right. Yeah. We love you. But, you know, that's bye. It. So good to see you again. Ron, give me something good, Ron.